To another scary home invasion. This happened at an apartment complex in Gastonia. A woman says that a masked man forced his way inside her home and she tried to run out, but the man attacked her and dragged her back inside. I was scared for my life. I thought that I was going to die. While this attack happened early this morning on Camelot Court off West Hudson Boulevard, Channel 9's Ken Lemon is out there live right now. And can you talk with that victim? Yeah, and she got very close to escaping. Her mother lives right across the parking lot right here on Camelot Court. She ran out. She tripped it. She got just a few feet away from her mother's front door, and that man was on top of her. Her boom really loud. That kick broke the back door of Courtney Davis's apartment at 3.30 in the morning. She ran to the front door, looked back, and saw a man in a ski mask. I knew for a fact he was not coming in here to talk. He was coming in here to get what he wanted. She ran outside and got almost close enough to reach out and hit the front door of her mother's apartment when things fell apart. He hit me in the head. Boom! I just knew like I was going to die. Like I just, I felt like my whole entire life was over. The man hit her again with the gun. He told me that if I don't stop screaming, he was going to kill me. He dragged her by the hair back into her home where her male friend was awake and started pleading with the man to let her go. She said the masked man was unfazed. So I was scared for my life. I thought that I was going to die out there. He didn't want the big screen TV in a box on the living room floor. He wanted cash. He drug her upstairs by the hair to get it. It was very scary. He took lots of money from her purse her cell phone and put three pairs of shoes in a bag. He like let go of me and shoved me in the floor and ran down the steps. She didn't try to go back over to her mother's house. She said she was afraid the man was still in the area. So she drove to a store. She says on the way there, she saw that man working with her, walking with her purse. She told police exactly where she saw him in that area earlier this afternoon, Erica. And can hopefully because some of the scuffle took place outside in that parking lot, maybe someone will recognize a clue to help find that man. Thank you for that live report.